All right, what's up YouTube? Uh, every year I do a big fireworks finale for the 4th of July. We shoot off fireworks at my daughter's birthday, sometimes on New Year's Eve. Uh, my nephew got married at my place and uh, we did a fireworks show for their reception. Everybody loves fireworks shows. Uh, after each show, people always come up to me, want to know where I got my stuff, how I ignited them uh, without running around with lighters and matches and uh, how I set it up. Some people are just curious, other people want to do it for themselves. I'm always more than happy to talk to people, let them know what I do, where I get my stuff, and how I do it. So this year, I thought I'd make a few videos on some of the things that people typically ask me so they could watch them anytime and re-watch them later if there was something they forgot or missed, or maybe they want to send it on to somebody they know who's interested. Uh, plus, I thought it might help for people to actually see how I do it and what products I use instead of me just talking about it. So today's video is about electronic ignition systems and how to use them. Uh, if you're interested in an electronic ignition system, um, eBay seems to be the best place um, that I've found to get them. Uh, you can go to eBay, search fireworks ignition systems and they should pop right up. I really don't remember how much I paid for this system because I've had it for several years, uh, but I want to say it was around 75 bucks or maybe a little less. I know I saw one listed on eBay yesterday, had three queues, each queue had four connection ports, and it was like 15 bucks with free shipping. Uh, so these systems are not very expensive, and they make shooting off fireworks much safer than trying to light fuses with a lighter, uh, especially if you're trying to have a big show or a finale. You don't need any special license or permit to buy these or to operate them. Okay, so let's look at the system and the different parts. My system came in this plastic case. It's got two locking tabs and it opens up and you can store everything in there. When you're done, you close it up, you lock it. It's real nice for storing. It's got a carrying handle so you can tote it around. Makes it really nice to keep your system together. All right. Um, as you can see, I've got 12 different cues. Each one of these black boxes is called a cue. Each cue has two connection ports. One, two. All right. Sometimes these connection ports are referred to as cues. So technically this would be considered a 24Q system and it would be listed on eBay that way. All right, my Qs are all labeled A's and B's. Um, these are the A's, there's six A's and there's six B's. Uh, on each one of them, there's two connection ports and they're numbered. So this is A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. Now, let's look at the remote. Here's my remote. The remote has a retractable antenna. It's got an on-off switch. It's got an AB switch and buttons numbered 1 through 12. You can fire each cue by using the numbers to match the numbers on the queue you want to fire. For example, this is queue box A. And it's got one and two ports on it. So if I wanted to fire that one, I would take my remote, I would set it to the A side, I would push the number one button, and it should fire the number one side of that queue. If I wanted to do, say, B6, I would push this over to B, hit the 6 button, and it would fire QB, port number 6. By connecting your fireworks fuse igniters to these cues and making a list of what firework is connected to what cue, you can set off all your fireworks in any order you want while remaining at a safe distance. Uh, be sure to check the range of the system you're interested in before you purchase it. Um, Different systems have different ranges. This system is good for about 300 feet away. Um, and you can certainly get into some big high dollar elaborate systems, but 300 feet works great for me. 
Um, so now that we've discussed the system and its parts, let me show you how to set it up, how to test the system, how to connect an igniter to it, and how to activate it, which will light your firework fuse and launch the firework. So first, let's put the batteries in the queue. Never store your batteries inside the queue while it's up on the shelf. Um, most people only use these systems at the 4th of July. Even myself only use it two or three times a year. If you leave the batteries in the queue, they're going to start to corrode and they're going to ruin your queue. Most likely you won't know that until you get it out to use it and by then it'll be too late and you won't have time to replace it. Plus, if you take good care of these systems, they'll last you many, many years. Like I said, I only gave around 75 bucks for this one. I've had it six, seven years, um, so I'm getting my money's worth out of it. So, let's see here. Uh, here's your queue. You're going to want to put your batteries in it. My queue takes four AA batteries. You just pop the back off there. You put your batteries in. One, two, three, four. And then you want to put your back on. Make sure it's good and secure. All right. Now you're going to raise the antenna up and you're going to turn it on. Little on off switch right there on the side. All right. And when I turn that on, you can see some lights coming on. All right, you should have a red light above, under each, each connection port and you should have a yellow light on your queue. Queue off, queue on. Now, I'm sure different systems um, have different, maybe different colored lights or whatever, but uh, this is the way mine works. All right, so let's set that down. So now we're going to put a battery in the remote. The remote takes a little special battery. Um, it's an A23. You can pretty much buy these at Walmart, drug stores, dollar store, uh, typically any place that sells batteries you can buy these. So we're going to take the back off the remote, insert the battery, and we're going to put the back back on. All right. Same thing with the remote. You don't want to store it with the battery in it uh, because it'll corrode. So the first thing we're going to do is raise our antenna and we're going to turn the remote on. All right, so now we're going to test it. Hold this up so you can see it. All right, here's your remote or your queue. I've got QA one and two. So I'm going to set my remote to the A side and I'm going to push button number one. You'll see the red light flash and the yellow light turn to green. All right, that means that your remote and your queue are communicating correctly. So let's check number two. All right, same thing. It's working great. You want to do this for each queue that you're going to use in your show. Um, if it doesn't come on, if it doesn't work like that, then you've got a problem and you don't want to use that cue until you figure out what's going on with it. All right, um, so as soon as you're through testing your cue, you want to turn your remote off, put your antenna down, and I always take my battery out. And I do that mostly as a safety precaution to make sure that these don't go off. Because what I'll do is I'll uh, connect my igniter to the queue and go ahead and set everything out. Uh, typically, I don't turn the queues on until right before I'm ready to start my show. I'll go around maybe about 20 minutes before showtime and uh, turn all the queues on. Leaving the battery out of the remote helps ensure that nothing gets accidentally bumped and uh, starts your show before you're ready to start it. All right, so. Um, We've tested that, so now we're ready to connect the igniter. This is an E-Match igniter. It's got a 300 meter wire on it, which is about 10 feet. Um, if you don't know about igniters, you can search my other videos and look for the one named E-Matches versus Talon igniters. 
So to connect these, if you look right here, it's pre-cut. You're going to pull the insulation off, set it to the side, and these wires are twisted. It's very important that you untwist these wires and have them separated so they're not touching. Can you see that? You don't want them touching. If they're touching, your signal is just going to loop back and it's not going to go all the way and ignite it. So I'm going to bend these over so you can see it better. These are just like hooking up speaker wires, okay? We're going to press the red and the black down. Well, it's kind of hard to do while I'm holding it. All right, we're going to press the red down and we're going to hook a wire in and let it go. All right. Now we're going to press the black down, put it in, and let it go. Did you see that light fire up? Take it out. Put it in. See that light getting brighter? See how one is brighter than two? That's what you want. That means you have a good connection. If your light doesn't bright, brighten up like that, then your wires are not connected good and uh, your igniter is not going to function properly. All right, so now we've got an igniter hooked to it. The only thing left to do is hook it to the firework and shoot it off. Uh, I'm not going to hook it to any fireworks, but we will take it off and uh, activate it and make sure that it works. Okay, so we've got it outside on the ground, our remote's on, our cue's on, we put the battery back in the remote, we should be good to go. So, you can see we're on the A side, and we're going to press button number one, we should hear a loud pop and see the end of the E-match light up. Alright, that's it, success. So that's how you use an electronic ignition system. Don't forget to turn everything off, remove the batteries, and store it properly for next time. If you like fireworks, don't forget to check out my other videos and search for my past firework finale videos. I don't have them all posted, but I did post them for 2010, 2014, 2015, and 2017. 2010 was my first attempt. 2015 was complicated by rain, but we still managed to get a pretty good finale. 2014 and 2017 rock so don't forget to check them out uh, and as always don't forget to subscribe click the like button and share this with all your friends all right be safe and thanks for watching